Today I'll be putting my radar mount together. Um, I ordered everything I needed quite some time ago in the winter but I didn't get a chance to put it together. So this is the stand. It's a sea view stand. This is the part number here. It's the PMA 167M1 which corresponds to this one here on the installation menu right there seems like the cat is very interested we got two helpers today, my son and the cat this is everything that came in this specific box we will be going through this during the installation this is the most important piece and this is the gasket here that will be installed right on top <clears throat> one very important thing you need to know um, about these is it doesn't come with the plate itself that will going to hold the radar um, I was surprised the day all of this arrived I took it to the boat and I started the installation process and all of a sudden I found out that the plate is not there um, first I thought it's uh, maybe they missed it or didn't put it in the box but later I found that actually it's being sold separately depends on what kind of radar and what is the manufacturing and what is the size and all of this kind of stuff a really nice way to make money it's not cheap either this is the mounting plate this is the hardware that came with it this is the installation manual and this is a template guide um, this gives you the location where you want to drill to install your radar and <clears throat> here in the manual my radar is closed dome and it's Garmin 18 right there so I will be drilling in every every holes that are marked with number 11 here here Before we, we start installing the plate, we have to put the light bar together, otherwise the installation will be out of order. I ordered this light bar, this is the hardware that came out of it. This goes under the plate in this orientation there, and it holds the, um, it holds the bar near the plate. We also need to insert before we install the uh, plate we need to insert this pin here into this slot there and this is going to to um, hold the bar the light bar in place vertical along with the tension from this mount here again this is this is the part number LTBR and let's put this together this is the all-around white light the transom light and we will need to pass this wire through the bar before we install it so this is where we are right now Install the bar and pass the wire through and it's being held here by the pen in a vertical position. Now the installation guide calls for lubricating this mount with some petroleum jelly.
Okay, yeah, nothing to it. Enjoy. Eight stainless steel screws and they are hex heads and you will need 316. When you are trying to put something like this together, always start in the middle and work your way out. Never the other way around, otherwise you are not going to have a perfect seal. Why this pin here was raised a little bit. Like I said, we will start in the middle and I will go across the further away, still in the middle, and then the farther away, we still in the middle, and then the farther away on the outside. And we go again, tighten a little bit every time to apply an even pressure on the plate. this mount here
All right. This is done. All right. We have the template here. It's ready to be marked. But before we get to this, I just want to make sure that I show you guys how I did this. The installation manual is calling for this light, this to be in the back, and this logo here to be in the front. And before we insert the uh, the uh, pins here, we need to lubricate and seal. Not lubricate, actually, just seal uh, the connection here. So I made a note for myself before the final installation to seal this. And here is the note. Don't take mental notes, you'll, you'll forget. <clears throat> now, let's mark at number 11. Here. Here. And All right, so this is this one. And we will, we will drill pilot holes there. These are just pilot holes. The uh, <clears throat> the plate in installation manual didn't say what size of drill bit you, you need to use, of course, because it depends on the type of radar you have. <clears throat> but here, in the installation manual for Garmin, they specified that the drill bit need to be 9.5 millimeter or 7 16th of an inch. <clears throat> 